Lagos, Eko, Lago de Kuramo. Hello, my name is Ayuade Azan. Along with some friends, we would like to tell you a bit about the history of this great city, Nigeria's former capital. It is the land of many waters, complex, boisterous, accepting. Eko, Obole, Obole. Lagos is bounded on the west by Republic of Benin, to the north and east by Ogun State, with Atlantic Ocean providing a coastline on the south. This sweeping view of modern mega city, Lagos, can sometimes hide the fact that it has a long and rich ancient history. <laughs> In the 13th century, a band of Yorubas left the interior to search for the new land. But the story goes that during their search, their oracle told them to settle where a sacred dish sank in the water. After journeying for long and trying many times, it finally sank in the area that is now Ido, and it is there that they settled. And it is from this that they got their name, Awori, meaning the plate sank. This is the first acknowledged settlement of the area that is now Lagos. The Awori spread to various parts of Lagos, including Isheri, and had semi-independent chiefs. At the time, today's Lagos was mainly a farm across the Lagos Lagoon. The first colonizers of Lagos were not Europeans. It was the Great Bini Empire that first came. Please calm down. How does Bini Kingdom relate to Lagos? Yeah, yeah, me, 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 so, for me, tell, tell, in the 16th century, Obaorogwa sent Bini soldiers that made the farms in Lagos Island into a war camp and called it Eko in the Bini language. And the origin of the pre-colonial name of the city. The leader of that group of Bini soldiers held the title Ashikba. It was him that received the authority of the Oba of Bini to govern Lagos when he received a sword and a royal drum from Bini. His title was later styled after the Bini king as Oba, though he also went by Eleko. He was supported by a group of Bini chiefs held by Eletu Odibo, a present-day title in Lagos, whose bearer still plays a prominent role in selecting the Oba of Lagos. The chiefs that came with him constituted the class of Lagos chiefs, now known as the Akari Bere chiefs. While the original Awori chiefs constitute the Idejo chiefs, all Obas of Lagos trace their origin to Ashikpa. Lagos continued to grow through the 17th century under the Bini influence. Oba Etokpe, he said. Yeah, yeah, me, me, me. In the mid 17th century, the Oyo Empire, which had controlled most of its slave trade from interland, began to weaken. Oyo Alafi Ujokpa Shekroma Atiba sold his slave mainly via for more western city of Oidia, Little Popo and Gang Popo in the present day of Bini Republic. But as it weakened, new slave routes Hermage looking for new outlets and an enterprising of Oba of Lagos. Oba Aki Simon he seized the opportunity. Using his relationship with Portuguese he had met in Badagui, we were close to the Bini Empire, which he had nominated suggested to. Oba Aki Simon he brought the slave trade to Lagos in 1740, invited the Portuguese trader to come in. It was the Portuguese trader that Obake Simoni brought in the name Lagos. It was first called Lago de Curamo, after the city of Lagos in Portugal. For the next 150 years, Lagos will become the prime transatlantic slaving port in West Africa, fed by the incessant war that broke out in interland Yoruba country as Oyo collapsed. <laughs> Echo In 1851, the British bombarded Lagos into submission after a previous failed attempt, 
when Lagos was valiantly defended against the British gunboats. This saw the return of Obakitoe and the former end of slave trade in Lagos. In 1861, the British consolidated their hold on the interior, forming the Southern Protectorate first, and then in 1903, the Northern Protectorate. In 1914, Sir Frederick Lord Lugard spearheaded the amalgamation of both Protectorate and Lagos Colony, creating the country in Nigeria and declared Lagos its capital. Lagos then experienced rapid growth in population and infrastructure. The construction of the Ikoju Road connected Lagos to the interior in ways it previously did not have. Prior to this, good people from the interior mainly came up to the edge of the lagoon and then crossed into Lagos by boat from the famous Ejiri market. Ikoju Road became the game changer. It was in Lagos that independence was declared on the 1st of October 1960, when the British formally left Nigeria and Nigerian flag flew for the first time in the popular race course. Lagos only stopped being capital on December 12, 1991, when the former military president, General Ibrahim Babangida, moved its capital to Abuja. Now, find geopolitical zones stand out in Lagos and tell a lot about the city history. Let's use the acronym IBILE. When the I stands for Ikeja, the B for Badagu, the I for Ikorodu, the L for Lagos Island, and the E for Ekpe. Badagri was founded around 1425 AD. It is a local government area in Lagos State. It is a coastal and it is located between the city of Lagos and the Republic of Benin at Seme. The first story building in Nigeria is located in Badagri. The point of no return is a memorial of the slave trade on Beru Island. The locals of Badagri consist of the Aworis, Egos, Yoruba and Ogu people. They are known for their hospitable disposition and their famous snack called ajogu, made from cassava, best enjoyed with coconut water, sucked from a coconut. Ikorodu town is the second most populous local government area in Lagos State with a population of 2 million people. The name Ikorodu, Iluke Kere Oko Ilubantata, meaning a small town that is boss to the big town, was derived from two words, Oko Odu, the farm Odu, a plant that has black cream powder used for dyeing clothes. The present king of Ikorodu, the Anyondunre of Ikorodu, is Oba Salaudin, Adekoya Afolabi Oguntade Tsu from Rademo Royal Family. Kabisiu. Let me tell you about Lagos Highland. The historical core of the town Lagos Highland developed from the main sub communities who lived in a relatively distant district. The topography of Lagos is dominated by a system of islands, sandbars, and lagoons. The city itself spreads over three main locations, the Lagos Island, the Lagos Mainland, and the Victoria Island, which are connected to each other by a system of bridges. Lagos Island was originally inhabited by the Aworis. The first king in Lagos was King Ado, the son of Ashikpa, who was appointed by the Oba of Benin to govern the land. Ido Island was named after him. The Awuris then moved to an island now called Ido, which was formerly called the House of Olofin, and then to a larger Lagos island in the 16th century. The present king in Lagos is His Majesty Obariwan Aremu Akiolu Kadukpelori Kibata Pelefse.
kere kere di gba o pe tu o o mi a kere se oko mi lo n pa emi ni mo ta kin du lodo o ba de le ado yi ekpe town and the port of the lagos state lies on the north bank of the lagos lagoon and has old connections with ijebu ode and ikorodu it is a traditional settlement of the ijebu people and it was established in the mid 18th century as a port for slaves clothes and agricultural produce Modern Ekpe is best known for the construction of the motorized shallow draft barges that navigate the coastal lagoons. Fishing is the major occupation. The town is best served by secondary schools, several hospitals, and a health office. The town is inhabited by the Aworis and the Jebus. Ikeja was designated as the capital of Lagos State in 1975. It is a well planned residential and commercial town with shopping malls and government reservation area. The Muritala Mohammed International Airport, which is the one of the main gateways into Nigeria, is situated in Ikeja. Ikeja is also home to the African shrine of Afrobeat king, Fela Anikolakbo Kuti, who was later taken over by his son, Femi Kuti. The shrine was later relocated to Alausa, another location in Ikeja. It also houses notable individuals like popular lawyer and human rights activist, Chief Ganifawemi San. Oh, Lagbaja's motherland is also situated in Ikeja. Tonda! There are many governors who have governed Lagos State, but we would only like to talk about a few of them. Starting from Ashwajibola Metinubu Jagaban. Ashwajibola Metinubu Jagaban is the 12th governor of Lagos State. He assumed seat on the 29th May 1999 to 29 May 2007. He established five more general hospitals in Lagos. He upgraded the facilities at the Lagos State Union Hospital last week. He pioneered the bus rapid system and black bus. He created 27 local council development areas. Ashwajibu Lame Tinubu provided free healthcare service, including free antenatal care for women, free eye test and free eyeglasses, popularly called Jigibola. Ashwajibola Metinubu spared the major that produced APC. APC! Baba Tunde Raji Fashola San was the 13th governor of Lagos State. He served two terms as governor of Lagos State from May 29, 2007 to May 29, 2015 and established the BRT transportation system. In 2014, he made the compulsory use of life jackets on Lagos waterways. In 2010, he launched an appeal to, to raise up to one million US dollars to assist the victims of the earthquake. In 2002, the mega project tax accelerated under Ashola's governorship. On the 21st of August 2019, he was again as Minister for Works and Housing by President Muhammad Buhari because of his tremendous hard work. Akiwumi Ambari is the 14th governor of Lagos State. He became the governor year 2015 to 2019. On his road project, where 57 local council got to good road was completed. And again, Mr. Ambari's philosophy lights up at least 365 areas across Lagos. A few months after he came to office, Mr. Ambari acquired 10 ammo tanks, three helicopters for era surveillance and policy, two gun boots, 15 ammo personal carriers, and dozens of his little trucks. Despite the challenges faced in the area of security, safety of life and property obligations are regarded to a large extent and he gave it a boost. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, BOS, is the 15th governor and the incumbent governor of Lagos State. He won the general election held on the 9th of March 2019. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu has made tremendous efforts on infrastructure traffic management and healthcare. He is also rehabilitating bad roads in Metropolis to ease vehicular movement. He promised to achieve his six-point agenda, TIMS, which the T is for transportation and traffic management, H for health and environment, E for education and technology, M for making Lagos 21st century hub, E for education and tourism, S for security and governance. Why is it your mom?